What's up guys, I'm back here with another unboxing. This is a Sky 2 figure that I've had here for, I don't even know, about a month or two. Uh, I'm finally going to unbox it, along with some other figures you'll, you'll see really soon. I'll probably just unbox all of them and you'll see all of them uh, within this week, hopefully. But yeah, I've just been really busy, uh, honestly, just playing Overwatch, to be honest. I haven't actually unboxed any of my stuff, so they're all just been sitting here. This is actually an unboxing I was really looking forward to, a figure I really like. Uh, it's called Hot Melt Girl. It's a 1-6 scale figure, and look how nice it looks. It looks awesome, so we'll see how it actually turns out if it's a nice figure. So yeah, you did read that correctly. I've had this figure since 2016. Essentially, the month it came out, I bought it. I didn't finish filming the review and unboxing, and she's just been sitting there since then, but now that I have better lighting and better camera, I decided to scrap the old stuff and go ahead and give her a proper review that she deserves because this really is a nice figure. Starting out, I took all the accessories out of the box. As you can see, it comes with a lot of accessories compared to other figures. So this one, it does come with a second pair of arms, and this is very interesting because it makes it easier so that you don't have to risk trading paint when you're removing the clothes if you want to have her completely naked. So in this way, all you do is just undo the, the side and then everything comes off. And all you do is just put the arms on. Again, the second pair of arms that they give you and that's it. You can have her completely naked that way. The panties are very easy to take off. It also comes with two books. Basically, like she's writing, and then another one where she'd be reading, I assume. And then that bottle of lotion, which is all spilled all over her, or lube, I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then a bottle of water, and then the oranges. One orange is already uh, halfway peeled, like if she was eating it. And then also her red gaming device with her headphones, which are actually very easy to connect to her ear. Uh, there's a small little hole, and then all you do is just attach it there, and it doesn't come off. The other one, of course, she's holding it with her hand, or her fingers. Her hat isn't magnetic, but it's very easy to put on, and it, it won't fall off unless, uh, I mean, you shake it or whatever. Lastly, there's two pillows right there on the back, as you can see, and it goes very well with the type of base it is. So it basically looks like she's on the bed or something, or that can be like one of those soft throw blankets, and she's basically studying or trying to study and getting distracted as you can see so it's really nice I do like that SkyTube included this many accessories and the fact that they don't easily fall off unless like I said if you have her in, dis in a display case or in display uh, she'll be fine everything won't fall out of nowhere so I really do like it especially the the headphones like I was saying that they they'll stick on and they won't come off easily here's a quick demonstration of how easy it is to remove her clothing as you can see her hands are a part of that sweatshirt she's wearing and all it is is just her arms you just easily remove that replace it with the extra ones that they give you and that's about it as you can easily tell now after I removed her sweatshirt is that I do recommend this figure a lot if you're into Opie because she does have really nice big boobs and they're very well detailed on here I mean SkyTube does an amazing job at detailing every small thing on their figures and that's why they remain to be one of my favorite figure manufacturers another thing you can tell is that in her hair there's a slightly like a black grayish tint to her hair and that's keeping it very close to the illustration art so it's also very nice that they had it like that and it wasn't just a plain black or it's um not very whitish grayish like the illustration photo which I'll, I'll put up right there so you can get a reference one thing that does suck when purchasing cast off figures is that if you want to have her displayed completely naked sometimes the pose that she has doesn't go very well after she has nothing on or she's not holding something so for instance this one if you want to have her completely naked and not have her with headphones on then it looks like she's holding nothing with her fingers and it does look a little bit weird so it would have been nice if SkyTube added um, another hand so she's basically just holding herself up or doing something else with the other hand so that would have been nice and a lot of favorite collectors that collect cast off figures know about this uh, I want to say issue but it's just uh, one of the things that you have to deal with but it's a small thing the last accessory that came with this figure is gonna be the clear liquid lotion or lube whatever you want it to be you can put it all over her so as you can see right here I took off all her clothes except her socks you can't remove her socks personally I really like how it looks that she spilled all this on her just like on the illustration art some other figures unfortunately don't come with the liquidy stuff that is on the illustration art even from SkyTube but this one they did include it so I really do like that and I believe since I've had it in storage for almost two years now that's probably why it hardened a little bit which I don't know if that's normal or not since this is one of the few figures if not the only figure that I have that has the little uh, 
rubbery stuff that you put on the figure to make it look like she has liquid on it. Lastly, my favorite part of this figure is of course that they did not do the stupid Barbie effect as you can see clearly right here. She has a fully detailed vulva, you mean her clit is right there. It's really awesome, it's not just a simple line. So for me, I'm gonna display her completely naked because she looks amazing completely naked even with her big boobs even though I prefer Team Patenko but this is still good so I'm gonna leave all that liquid on her just to kind of see how it live up to being on display for so long so overall I really do recommend this figure it is amazing SkyTube did a really amazing job if you haven't already picked her up since she did come out in 2016 if you're uh, looked for her or if you see her pre-owned anywhere I do highly recommend it if you do like uh, Opa if you do like uh, SkyTube figures or cast off figures uh, this is a really great add-on to your collection so let me know if you like more unboxings like this more cast off figures by native sky tube orchard seed all the other uh, figure manufacturers that you have seen me purchase here on this channel if you like more hentai doujinshi hauls uh, anything like that or also just let me know what figures or what stuff you guys collect I really like to talk to other people about that but you can follow me on Instagram on Twitter or you can go to my favorite collection my page and see uh, what other figures I have if you haven't seen a video of that or there's a lot of figures I haven't done a video on so as always I'll see you in the next one